Israel's laser defense, the iron beam, burns threats from the sky in seconds, while Italy's Skyguard relies on precision missiles and radar dominance. Two different philosophies, one goal total air defense supremacy. So who really holds the edge in this next gen showdown? Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, your trusted hub for deep military and defense analysis. Today, we're diving into a fascinating matchup that's capturing global attention, Israel's Iron Beam versus Italy's Skyguard system. Both nations have taken entirely different paths in air defense innovation. Israel's Iron Beam is a cutting edge laser based weapon that promises to neutralize threats almost instantly with beams of light. While Italy Skyguard represents decades of refined missile and radar engineering design to intercept targets with precision and speed. In an age where drones, rockets, and hypersonic threats define modern warfare, understanding these systems isn't just about technology, it's about strategy, deterrence, and the future of air superiority. From power generation and mobility to cost efficiency and combat readiness, each nation's defense system reflects its unique security philosophy. So, in this in-depth analysis, we'll explore how Israel's Iron Beam and Italy's Skyguard perform across 10 critical dimensions, from design concepts and operating range to battlefield, adaptability, and geopolitical implications. Stay with us till the end as we uncover which defense system might dominate the skies of tomorrow. To understand how these two systems diverge, we need to trace their origins. Israel's Iron Beam emerged from the Israel Defense Forces' need to counter frequent short-range rocket and drone attacks. Developed by Rafal Advanced Defense Systems, the project was publicly unveiled in 2014 but reached operational maturity in the 2020s. It was designed as a complementary layer to the Iron Dome, focusing on threats that are too small or too fast for traditional missile interceptors. Its goal, reduce cost per kill and reaction time using directed energy technology, on the other hand, Italy's Skyguard system has a different lineage. Developed by Orlikon Contravesis, now part of Rheinmetall Air Defense, Skyguard evolved as a mobile anti-aircraft and anti-missile platform integrating radar control and missile launchers. The system's roots date back to Cold War defense doctrines emphasizing precision and coordination between radar networks and missile batteries. Italy's approach prioritized proven kinetic interception methods with NATO compatibility, while Iron Beam represents a quantum leap into energy weapons, Skyguard stands as a trusted pillar of traditional missile-based defense. The contrast between these two designs captures the broader debate, innovation versus reliability, and how each nation defines future-ready defense. Now, let's dissect the core technology behind each system. Israel's Iron Beam uses a solid-state laser capable of firing highly focused energy beams to burn or melt airborne targets such as rockets, artillery shells, and drones. Its reaction time is measured in milliseconds, and each shot costs only a few dollars in electricity, a massive leap in cost efficiency compared to expensive interceptor missiles. The challenge, however, lies in weather conditions, fog, dust, and clouds can reduce laser effectiveness, making it ideal for clear sky operations. Italy Skyguard operates on a dual radar guided missile and gun network. It uses the Aspide or AIM-7 Sparrow missile variants, coupled with 35 Dunaldred Orlikon cannons, all coordinated by an advanced fire control radar. This gives Skyguard the ability to track and engage multiple targets simultaneously, even under complex battlefield conditions. Unlike lasers, its kinetic projectiles aren't affected by weather, giving it a consistent operational advantage in varied European climates. While Iron Beam dazzles with futuristic promise, Skyguard's strength lies in its proven all-weather capability. One harnesses light, the other harnesses speed and precision, two distinct technological philosophies aiming to achieve the same mission secure the skies. When it comes to raw performance, the two systems operate in different envelopes. 
The iron beam is designed primarily for short range threats, typically under seven kilometers, but what it lacks in range, it compensates with near instant reaction time, capable of engaging incoming projectiles almost immediately after detection. Its silent and invisible beam offers a stealthy interception method with no explosive residue, making it both eco-friendly and tactically clean. Skyguard, however, stretches its coverage much farther. With missile intercept ranges up to 25 kilometers and gun-based defense extending around four kilometers, it provides a layered shield over strategic assets. The system's radar suit continuously updates target data, allowing coordinated launches with remarkable accuracy. Another key difference lies in sustainability. Iron Beam can fire continuously as long as it has power, while Skyguard's missile stock stocks and ammunition limit its sustained combat readiness. Yet, Iron Beam's dependency on high electrical output means it must be stationed near power sources, a logistical consideration Italy's mobile Skyguard doesn't face. Ultimately, Israel bets on speed and sustainability, while Italy banks on reach and flexibility, defining how each sees the future battlefield unfolding. Mobility defines battlefield survival, and both systems approach it differently. Israel's iron beam, though compact, requires a stable platform with access to large power generators. It's often deployed near existing Iron Dome batteries, forming a layered defense grid. Its portability is improving with newer versions designed for truck or trailer mounting, but it remains more static compared to fully mobile missile launchers. Italy's Skyguard, in contrast, was built for mobility from day one. Its radar, control unit, and launchers can be mounted on trucks, trailers, or even armored vehicles, allowing rapid repositioning in dynamic combat environments. This makes it suitable for defending both stationary bases and moving convoys. The Iron Beam's greatest asset, its unlimited firing capacity, is balanced by its reliance on power infrastructure, while Skyguard's self-contained mobility gives it freedom of movement. In essence, Israel's system thrives in defended zones, while Italy's excels in expeditionary defense. Each reflects its nation's defense philosophy. Israel protects its skies from nearby threats in compact territory, while Italy prepares for broader NATO missions across changing terrains. One of Iron Beam's most revolutionary aspects is cost efficiency. Traditional interceptors like those in Iron Dome can cost tens of thousands of dollars per launch. In contrast, each Iron Beam shot costs just a few dollars in electricity, an incredible economic leap. This drastically reduces the long-term cost of defense against low-cost threats such as drones or rockets. Its power source can also be renewable, adding a sustainability edge. Skyguard's missiles, on the other hand, are significantly more expensive per shot, though its system maintenance is relatively straightforward. Italy's military doctrine values reliability and interoperability over extreme cost reduction. Its standardized ammunition and NATO alignment ensure that replacement parts, missiles, and training are readily available, a key advantage in joint operations. In peacetime, Iron Beam offers a budget-friendly shield against repetitive attacks. In wartime, Skyguard provides a trusted umbrella that's proven weatherproof and globally supported. The debate between sustainability and interoperability is not just financial, it's strategic, shaping how both nations invest in defense modernization. Iron Beam has undergone multiple live fire demonstrations with videos showing rockets and drones vaporized mid-air. Its integration with Iron Dome and David Sling provides Israel with a complete multi-tiered air defense web, yet as of today, the Iron Beam remains in limited deployment and continuous testing. Full battlefield integration is expected soon, marking a significant shift in Israel's operational doctrine. Skyguard, on the other hand, has decades of proven performance across NATO and allied forces. It's been deployed in various configurations across Europe, 
Asia and the Middle East for both military and civilian asset protection. Italy's system has logged thousands of hours in live drills and remains a trusted choice for nations seeking dependable mid-range defense. Iron Beam represents the future still being refined, while Skyguard stands as the present perfected over time. This contrast highlights the gap between emerging and established technologies and how innovation always comes with the challenge of proving reliability. Israel's Iron Beam isn't just a weapon, it's a strategic signal. By fielding a directed energy defense, Israel demonstrates self-reliance and deterrence in an era of asymmetric warfare. It reduces dependency on expensive interceptors and offers a scalable defense model for future export. Strategically, it strengthens Israel's defense posture against mass rocket attacks from nearby regions. Italy Skyguard serves a different strategic purpose. As part of NATO's integrated defense framework, it reinforces Europe's collective shield against aerial threats. Italy's system is not just about national defense, it's about alliance strength and shared capability. By upgrading Skyguard networks with digital radar and new missile variants, Italy ensures interoperability within NATO's layered defense architecture. In essence, Iron Beam is Israel's national innovation triumph, while Skyguard is Italy's alliance cornerstone. Both reflect their geopolitical environments, one defending sovereignty under constant threat, the other ensuring unity within collective defense. The global defense community views both systems with keen interest. Iron Beam's success could trigger a worldwide race in laser weapon adoption, especially among nations facing drone and rocket saturation threats. Countries like the US and Germany have already expressed collaboration interest in similar technologies. Its success might redefine short-range defense economics entirely. Skyguard, though older, continues to evolve. Raymetal is integrating advanced radar and digital systems, extending Skyguard's lifespan for decades. Italy's focus on modernization ensures the system remains NATO relevant even as lasers emerge. Looking ahead, hybrid systems combining lasers and missiles could dominate the next generation of air defense. Imagine Iron Beam's cost efficiency paired with Skyguard's all-weather resilience. That's the direction global defense may be heading. Both systems, in their own right, symbolize two eras meeting at the crossroads of innovation. The future battlefield will likely see them side by side rather than against each other. So, who wins the Israel vase Italy air defense face-off? The answer depends on perspective. If we judge by technological innovation, Iron Beam clearly leads, offering a futuristic, nearly unlimited firing system that defines a new era of defense economics. But if the metric is proven combat readiness and versatility, Skyguard still holds the crown. Israel's laser defense is rewriting what's possible, but it still needs years of operational testing to replace kinetic systems entirely. Italy's Skyguard, on the other hand, continues to prove that reliability and precision never go out of style. Both nations are vital contributors to the global defense ecosystem, each refining how the skies will be protected in the decades to come. Ultimately, this comparison isn't about competition, it's about evolution. The Iron Beam and Skyguard together illustrate humanity's unending quest for safer, smarter, and faster defense systems. If you enjoyed this deep analysis, make sure to hit subscribe, tap the bell icon, and leave your thoughts below. Which system do you think will define the future of air defense? Don't miss our next breakdown, Laser vs. Missile, the future of modern warfare, info.